are renewed calls for the revitalization of the cooperative movement to increase agricultural output and benefits to farmers. To experts, helping farmers and those who have invested in the sector pull out of poverty and recover resources committed will require players to operate in organized groups. Availability of the product. The Grain Council, we have built all these warehouses. We need the product. Some of us have gone into production, most of us not. Where is the product to be traded? So we need organized production. We need the cooperative movement to be strong. We, need some, we are ready to buy, but we cannot buy five bags in people's houses. Our trucks can buy from cooperatives and some community collection centers. The Grand Council is now working with the Uganda Warehouse Wisi Systems Authority to support the bulking and warehousing of selected agricultural commodities through farmer groups. We are working with the Grand Council, we are working with the millers to buy the grain. Millers, we are telling them stop going to villages to look for grain, buy receipts from the Grand Council facilities. So that tripartite is what we are developing at the moment so that we promote a section that is going to buy the grain to the big of takers. We have had an engagement with one of the big of takers in this market. The authority is a government institution that, among others, promotes grain collateral management and bulking, plus warehousing of selected agricultural products. Besides bulking, ensuring right quality output is one of the elements that the authority is promoting. Can maize, beans, soya bean, chia seed, sorghum, and all these commodities that uh, Richard mentioned be bought from licensed, certified warehouses so that even the few members of the warehouse receipt system authority the few staff of UNBS have where to start at so that enforcement starts from there and then we go upgrading it this is coming at a time when several agricultural sector stakeholders have raised concern about the informal operations especially in the grain sector which undermines quality and market access including to some of our neighbors who recently rejected our grain on quality grounds. Definitely there's need to have policies in place that yes, we are a food basket, but three quarters of literally what goes out of here is not um, under specific regulation in terms of quality um, and standards. And, and if we look at, just look at what has happened with our coffee, is a very good example. Our coffee prices and the farmers are thriving because you cannot export a bag of coffee out of this country without it going through some form of processing, without it being standardized. Why aren't we doing that for grain? These issues have emerged as the sector seeks to attract financing from major players, including International Finance Corporation, the World Bank's private sector lending arm, plus ensuring that the sector plows in more revenue than it has previously.